Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and welcome back to another episode of our beautiful autumn painting together. Now today we're actually going to finish it up, finish all the details in the bridge, and then put it in a beautiful frame. Of course, if you're enjoying these, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and also vote this week for the next new painting that you guys would like to start. All right, let's get started. We'll start off today here with a beautiful soft yellow color, just a little bit of yellow and brown and white. That'll get you there. And of course, I have a very dirty palette. I was just painting earlier today. So that's the reason. All right, now, everything here is dry, everything. And so our main goal is to kind of get this bridge, well, at least up to the same level of detail as everything else. I really love this water area. This is maybe the, my favorite part of the painting where we can see the fall colors in the water and in the blue. It's just, I don't know, kind of personal favorite part of the painting. All right, so I'm free to kind of rest my hand on here, which is good. I'm gonna drop on some extra highlight here, forming these stones. Obviously not gonna roll with this color throughout the entire thing, just sort of starting with this color. Placing it around here and there. There, okay, that's probably close to enough of this color. I don't want that much. Maybe over here too, I gotta to make it feel like one bridge. All right, let me grab a little bit of our, I don't know, I'm just working from a dirty palette, so let me grab some purple here. And that purple looks a little too purple, so let's throw some blue into it. And to that, I'm going to throw in some white. See what that gives us. Well, not bad. <laughs> All right. Take that. Maybe a little more. I'll kind of dull it down a little. And yes, I'm going to use this to sculpt in a few more stones. Good. Maybe add a little tan to that. There. Yeah, no, now we're starting to look, look more like a stone bridge. Good. Um, because it's dry, I'm contemplating maybe putting some medium in my brush. I don't know if I will or not. Never, never would I recommend doing that. Except for that this is dry. So, we'll see. I'll let you know what I decide, but so far I'm just going to roll with it. There. So far I still have not put any medium in the bridge. So, and it's working okay. It's kind of dry, but it's working okay. Anyway. I'm dropping in a little shadow and maybe get a little more purple because I like purple as a shadow color. There. Maybe a little more blue. This isn't a sunset, so depends on, you really don't want to have a, like a warm purple. It kind of depends on what the sky is doing. I'm going to go with a bluish purple to create some of these extra shadow areas. Even throw some black into that. Yes, that's better. Okay, okay, not bad. So now we're kind of just defining the bridge with shading, which is cool. There we go. Good, not bad at all. That helps, that really helps. Don't you see the, the bridge popping a little more? Pops out of the, that doesn't seem so, well, lackluster. We're starting to kind of develop a little bit more interesting effect here. Now, gotta figure out what in the world's going on over here. How about if we give it something? It's too solid in here. I'm gonna break it up a little. Don't break it up too much, but just a bit. I don't want it to be so dark black. Also, I don't want that line so perfect. I'm gonna break that perfect line up. There, better. See how that's better? <laughs> Looks nice. Needed that. Much, much, much more realistic that way. Good. And then back to something else here. We'll just sort of some more gray. Break this area up a little more. I'll tell you what, let me get started here taking some black and our purple and blue, just whatever. And there we go. Let's go ahead now and outline. And this is a bringing this brush to a beautiful sharp point. This detail round is amazing. If you haven't tried it, give it a shot. It will make your paintings a little easier, especially for stuff like this. It is totally worth it. I'm so glad that I'm using it. I'm glad that we have it now available for you guys to use it. Because man, it's really helped my paintings. And I hope it's done the same for you. There. I'm doing circular stones today of all different sizes. Some can be slightly more rectangular, but eh, 
for the most part, I'm going with like this very natural circle-y stone there. Now with some beautiful fall colors, I'm just going to drop in well, some blades of grass and this will help really to finalize the painting, make it look nice. I do realize this is going to get smudged a little in our frame, but I'll be real careful when I frame it. <laughs> there we go. And this will help just make it look complete. Now I did want to say real quick that we do have voting this week. We're going to be voting for a brand new composition or new subject, not composition. And I can't wait to see what you guys want. There's so many options that we're not going to list them in the video. You can just go to the website and take a look at the options and we'll see what you guys want to do. Vote and make sure that you, you tell me what you want because you guys are you're doing so good with this series. You're really coming up with amazing things I probably would never come up with on my own, which is fun. Because I give you those options, but you know, I wouldn't necessarily put them together the same way that you put my options together. So it's really cool the way you're able to give me so much input. And I like that a lot <laughs> there. So anyways, I hope you're having a lot of fun. Be sure to share this video. And go back and look at all the others. We've got so many now. Go back and check them out. All right, well, we finally have a finished painting. All we have to do now is sign it. I like to sign here just in one of the corners and with a color that's similar to the background. That way it doesn't stand out too much. All right, well, here it is, our finished painting hanging on a wall. I chose a beautiful, ornate frame, actually a new frame. We got it in very recently. I really like it. It's got beautiful carving, nice detail to it, and a beautiful color that really complements the golds and the browns in the painting. Of course, it's not over... Well, it's not overly warm. We have it balanced with a lot of blues, and I really like that also. You guys did amazing choosing each part of the painting as we went along. I really enjoyed working with you on this project. Of course, be sure to go to the website and vote for which subject you'd like to see us paint together next time. Thanks for watching.